Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to talk about how to paint with confidence. Having confidence in what you make comes from a lot of different places. Having people telling you that your art is amazing is only one way to feel confident. So to feel confident in your own art, it really has to come from within and it takes a lot of practice over time. My name is Amanda and I'm an oil painter. In this channel, you will find different tips and tricks on oil painting and on how to be an artist. If you enjoy what I teach, I do have two free ebooks that's available for download on marketing and on color mixing at the link below. Without further ado, let's get started. We always hear that art is a journey, not a destination, and it's very true. In order to feel confident in what you make, you have to enjoy the process and enjoy all the different stages that I took to evolve throughout the process and the painting. Always have an end goal in mind, but focus on the journey. You wanna paint something that is authentically you. You can explore this through replicating other paintings and pictures that really attract you. Think of what feels good to look at or think of something that you really care about. Don't look for something that is popular or what is expected of us. It has to be something that is natural to you. If making art feels enjoyable and exciting, you will gain the confidence in your paintings. What really attracted me about this picture is how different it looks from traditional female portraiture. It's, it's very candid and vulnerable and it, the picture just really connected me to the subjects. And I think that for a lot of artists, when you feel connected to what you're painting, you will have more confidence in your art. And also, you want to take baby steps. The key to gaining confidence in your paintings is to be able to finish a painting. Finishing a painting is a very rewarding feeling. And if you've enjoyed what you made, you can repeat it a few times. Then you'll have a series of paintings that share a common theme. And that will definitely gain you the confidence that you want over time. When you've completed anything from beginning to end, it really gives you the confidence that you can do it. So don't start with a big painting with a lot of challenges to tackle, like a life-size painting of a person. But instead, maybe start with something small, like a series on lips, and then do another series on eyes. So the key in painting and being able to see it through is to tackle small projects. Another tip is to plan your paintings. Even if you don't have a precise drawing, you should have a vision for how it will evolve or plan for the process of the painting. Think of the types of materials that you'll use, the number of layers, the amount of time that it's going to take to dry. If you have a realistic vision for how long a painting will take, you're less likely to feel burned out or exhausted from it. For this painting, I'm choosing to paint from front or from back to front and from dark to light. I also want to paint a bit more quick and do it in more layers compared to my other paintings. So I'm still color matching to the photo and making sure that I have the right values, but I'm painting in more quick and bold brush strokes. I've decided to paint on a 9 by 12 wood panel, which is quite small for a double portrait painting. But since the models and the color themes are quite different from my usual paintings, I want to try it out on a smaller surface first. As for the palette, I laid out the majority of my colors and added white to every color so that it would allow me to work fast. So that's the process that I plan for this painting. And also, you want to use an accurate under sketch or you want to trace the drawing. This will help you have a vision from the beginning of how your painting will end. It's not to say that you can't deviate from it, but it will keep you on track and be less likely to abandon the painting or feeling lost and not knowing where the painting is heading. 
For this painting, I've transferred the drawing onto the wood panel before I started the painting, and it's really helping me keep my proportions correct. I'm not too worried about the details of the outlines. I just have to know roughly where everything goes and just let the paint do the work. And lastly, get to know your supplies and tools and try to be more bold with your brushwork. And don't be afraid to use a lot of paint. The more paint you have, the more you have to work with. The more bold your brushwork, the more familiar you'll get with using them. Some of my colors aren't 100% accurate when I lay them on, but that's okay because I'm making adjustments to them as I'm painting.
So these were my tips on how to gain confidence in your paintings. I hope you all learned something new and perhaps got some insights in your art endeavors. My free ebooks are still available for download at the link below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.